North Texas was one of 17 communities across the country that was selected to take part in this project. In an effort to show that a community-based organization can reduce new cases of type 2 diabetes in seniors and reduce the cost burden of the disease to our nation's healthcare system. On our panel today, in addition to my Y colleagues, we have Quinn Neal from the American Diabetes Association and Congressman Mark Vesey. Congressman Vesey represents the 33rd Congressional District, which spans from Fort Worth to Dallas and includes prominent neighborhoods in both Tarrant and Dallas County. Congressman Vesey serves on many committees and caucuses, including the Congressional Diabetes Caucus. Congressman Vesey's been very involved and a great supporter of RYMCA in Fort Worth, serving on a branch board, and I know that his, his family has participated with the YMCA in Arlington. I'd like to ask uh, Congressman Vesey to share a few remarks with us now. Mark? And uh, Tony, thank you very much, and it's good to be with you this morning. Uh, and I uh, just want to uh, thank everybody uh, that has been a part of uh, fighting diabetes here in the Metroplex, the American Diabetes Association, uh, YMCA Metropolitan of uh, YMCA, uh, Metropolitan YMCA of Fort Worth, uh, YMCA of Ar Arlington, YMCA of Dallas, uh, and uh, all of the organizations that are partnering to bring the, di the diabetes prevention program here uh, to the Metroplex. Uh, this program is important. Uh, and one of the reasons why it's important because it will identify uh, seniors on Medicare who are pre-diabetic. Um, I think that's important to stress uh, pre-diabetic. Uh, give them the intensive education and support they need to make the lifestyle changes uh, that they need to not develop diabetes. I think that is so key. Uh, this program uh, has uh, begun uh, and, uh, and is successful. Uh, I'm going to be excited uh, to hear uh, about what uh, Mr. Garcia is going to, to mention a little bit later. And, and, um, and also, Tony mentioned to you that I'm on the, the Congressional Diabetes Caucus, uh, something that is very uh, important to me, uh, uh, just because I know that uh, if we continue uh, to raise awareness about diabetes, that we can do a lot uh, just to, to change uh, what's going on here, not just in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, but really around the country as, as it relates to diabetes. Uh, just a little bit more about the caucus that I'm on. Uh, this caucus uh, was, was particularly formed uh, to educate members of Congress uh, on uh, diabetes, uh, and particularly our legislative staffs that work very hard uh, to put together uh, the legislation that we need to move the country forward on preventing and fighting diseases like uh, diabetes. Uh, we worked uh, very hard to uh, raise awareness about uh, certain research, uh, education, uh, treatments that are out there to prevent uh, diabetes. Uh, and it's something that, that I can tell you that it's, it's bipartisan. It's something that both parties care uh, deeply about. about. Uh, also, uh, we're going to be working very hard to enact legislation to provide Medicare coverage for blood testing strips like glucose monitors, uh, diabetes and self-management uh, education, many, many of those things uh, that are already available. Uh, and uh, continuing to uh, urge uh, Centers for Med Medicare and Medicaid Services to provide coverage uh, for the insulin fusion pumps, uh, something also we're going to continue to work on. Uh, diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, uh, is a major problem in Texas, and particularly for the district that I represent. Uh, approximately 1.8 million adults in Texas uh, were living uh, with diabetes. Uh, 9.2 of the constituents that I represent uh, in Dallas uh, and Tarrant County suffer from diabetes, and that's according to CDC uh, data. Um, and as we know, diabetes is a, is a very terrible disease when it's not managed properly. Uh, loss of sight, loss of limbs, uh, extremities, uh, uh, blood pressure issues, uh, heart disease, and stroke. Uh, they can really uh, uh, greatly diminish the quality of someone's life if not taken care of. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I was very moved uh, last year when I took a tour of the DeVita Kidney Center. Uh, over in Oak Cliff, uh, just uh, in the Wynwood Shopping Center. Uh, and when I walked in there, the lady was giving me a tour and uh, just telling me, just well, I talked about the earlier, about the diminishing uh, loss of the quality of a person's life. And she was telling me that the people that come in for uh, dialysis, that they have to spend about three to four hours a day sitting in the dialysis chair, and they have to do that two to three times a week on average, depending on, on the individual patient. 
I mean, just think about someone's life having to be spent, you know, so much just sitting in that dialysis chair like that. And I asked her, I said, you know, why are you, start, why are you starting to see the increases uh, in diabetes? Uh, is it because of, uh, you know, people have inherited uh, a, a medical issue here? She said, no, it's usually because of lifestyle. Uh, and I thought what was more moving was that she said that, uh, you know, and if you go to any of our clinics, uh, you'll notice uh, that about 60% of the patients are going to be uh, black uh, and about uh, 30 plus percent are going to be Hispanic. Uh, and when I was there that day, that's exactly about what it was. Uh, and it's really, really sad. And so uh, I just want to uh, applaud everybody that's working to really uh, do something about uh, stamping out diabetes. Uh, and I, I don't think it's, a, it's any co coincidence that the constituents in the district that I serve uh, are having an issue with diabetes uh, because oftentimes diabetes uh, does hit low-income areas harder than other areas. Uh, these are people that are more likely to suffer from chronic conditions such as heart disease. Uh, the disease are symptoms of lifestyles uh, that, we have, that we've talked about, that the doctor talked about when I was at the dialysis center. Uh, too much unhealthy food, too little uh, physical activity. Uh, and so we need to continue to work, work together with organizations uh, like the YMCA uh, that are targeting individuals at risk to give them the education and support they need to get healthy. Uh, these are the types of programs I want to work on and continue to support uh, in Congress. Uh, you know, and we don't. And, and throwing money at the issue is not, you know, going to solve everything. We need to try to prevent diabetes from happening in the first place, and that's what's really going to be key. I'm excited about the Affordable Care Act's uh, emphasis on preventive care and how it's going to bring down our health care costs. Uh, and we need to be doing the same thing with the diabetes types of programs. Uh, not enough to tell people to eat healthy. Uh, and exercise uh, once a year at the doctor. Uh, we need to have an ongoing dialogue with individuals to ask them to continue uh, to lose weight, get healthy, uh, and fight diabetes. Uh, uh, and we can do that with the proper support and the education. Uh, we just need to continue to support programs uh, like we have here today. Uh, and so I'm proud to be here uh, because I know that uh, not only is this going to help uh, individuals here in West Dallas and in the uh, overall community in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, uh, but in the long run, if we can work on prevention, if we can do things to keep people out of the dialysis chair, if we can do things to, uh, to keep people from having to get on prescription drugs in the first place, we can save the federal government a lot of money on Medicare and Medicaid uh, programs. Uh, and so, uh, Tony, I want to thank uh, you and everyone here at the YMC and everyone that's, that's here uh, today, many of our healthcare uh, partners, most of our is here. Uh, that are out here working uh, in the community to really make a difference uh, on this uh, terrible disease that we can prevent uh, in diabetes. Thank you.